In the last episode of Iron Man's Killer series, I was doing agility and unlocked Ardon rooftops for the first time ever. I also did some temporos and got a tackle box. Then I did the quest below Ice Mountain, unlocked Gamdosal, and got the wieldable Imkanda Hammer. For today's episode, I grinded 300 plus hours for some big goals. And there we go, 85 farming achieved. Now I can gain access to the highest tier of farming guild. And I, I can also grow Torstols and Celastrus trees. Which is cool. And there we go, Temple of the Eye quest completed. I get medium pouch. Runecraft and XP that I don't really mind about because I'm already 99. And I have access to the Temple of the Eye minigame, which is the main point of course. Okay, so this is the first time I am searching the Rewards Guardian for some rewards, and uh, I actually got Intris Pouch, Abyssal Pearls, and uh, Abyssal Needle, which is nice. I also searched the Rift a couple of times more with many points, but I got nothing new except for the Catalytic Talisman, which isn't really a big thing. There we go, 95 fishing. This has taken a while to get here. And here we go for the 97 fishing. And 98 fishing. Only one more level to go. It is done! It is done! It's finally done! 99 fishing achieved! It has taken a while. I also lost motivation while doing this grind because I've been fishing for... S I don't even know from 85 or something to 99 every time I log in only doing fishing been mainly at the fishing guild fishing swordfish and tuna because it's afk and now I have been for the last 250k or so I have been at temporos trying to get some better rewards and better xp and now it's time for some gotter I'm going to get some rewards I hope then I'm gonna get a seed box and then I'm going to get Agility and cooking to 99 in this video And now it is of course the time to buy the fishing skill cape k. yes, please Awesome, and I want the second copy of course I always buy two of these and then let's wear it and show you the emote. It really fits well with the Spirit Angler's outfit. And then the skill cape emote, of course. Um, where is it? There. Harpooning a gold goldfish. Nice. But still I need the Spirit Angler headband to do Temporos efficiently because I have to go back to Temporos because I don't have the harpoon, tome or the pet. So, Temporos is gonna call me, but not today, I have done enough of this. And also, I can teleport to the fishing guild with the cape, which actually helps me with the farm runs a little bit. Okay, let's look at the reward guardian. I think I have 100 points. 101 times I can search the reward guardian. Fingers crossed, and let's begin. Okay, one collection log item, Abyssal red dye that I can change for any other dye, any other color dye for the set, and I think I want the green set whenever I happen to get the whole set. Let's see, how much money did I earn? Almost 800k, but more importantly, 
I got over 200 per abyssal pearls to be added to my collection though I have 302 pearls now and the ring costs 400 so I need like um, 50 points or something to collect enough pearls for the ring but this is enough for this time Okay, I have now collected enough points to buy the reward I was looking for from Farmer Grisolver. And that is of course the seed box. Oh yeah. 500 marks of grace so far. 4000 laps in Ardon rooftops. Still got like 4k to go. Ninety-five agility achieved. Ninety-six agility. Three more levels to go. Just realized I have exactly one thousand marks of grace in the inventory. So I have been running here for many, many laps. And now, Mark of Grace number 1001. Okay, time for a level up. 93 fletching, randomly from the adamant bolts unfinished I had in the bank. Ninety-seven agility, only two more to go. But it's two long ones. <laughs> 7,000 laps at already. Ninety-eight agility. One more to go, and it is 1.2 million XP. And 9,000 laps done at already. 672 to go until the final level up. I am closing into the level up. 76 XP to go. 19. And the last walk over these stalls for now. And all the grind is gonna finish on on this jump. 99 agility achieved oh yeah first time in old school doing this and it's a 99 number one two three four five six on the iron man skiller congratulations you are now a master of agility why not visit captain easy no beard at Brimha at the Brimhaven Agility Arena. He has something special that is only available to true masters of the agility skill. I shall go there indeed. And this Mr. Drunkendorf. Okay, so from 90 to 99 agility I got over 200 marks of phrase here. And I actually banked with them once and I had like 550 or something. So almost 3k marks of grace. But the sad thing is that there was, there is actually about 26% chance to get the agility pet by doing the Ardone course from 90 to 99, and I didn't get the pet. So, but that's some grind to do later. And also, these are all my marks of grace. I haven't, I have only purchased one set of graceful, and not colored anything. And I'm going to color this graceful set from the Brimhaven Agility Arena to match my agility cape. But that's gonna happen somewhere later. And now let's go and buy two agility capes from the Brimhaven area. Come on, Captain Easy, talk to. Is it? May I buy a skill cape of agility, please? Most certainly. Nice. Certainly. Here you go. And then another piece because I always like to have two of the capes and hoods in my bank. Skill cape. 
certainly. And it's actually looking sick. This is really nice cape to get. And the emote to do, of course. Oh yeah, and the one thing to mention, uh, Vicky says that the 9 to 90, 90 to 99 agility at already takes up at maximum efficiency about 123 hours. But I was no mean at the maximum efficiency, barely at all. So my estimate on this, because I didn't calculate, is like 150 hours or more than that. So this has really been a grind to do. And now let's head to Great Co-Rent to do some cooking. And there we go, 90 cooking. I wasn't ready for this at all. I'm just AFK and watching streams. And I got the 90 cooking. I can now cook dark crabs, current fish, and psych bats. Let's go. And there we go, 92 cooking coming up. Halfway to 99. I was AFK and I got the level up 95 cooking. Four more to go and I can now make summer pies. That's new. There we have 96 cooking. Is it this fish? It was 97 cooking. And second to last level in cooking, 98. Okay guys, 68 XP away from 99 cooking. Let's get it with shrimps. And there we go, 99 cooking achieved. Congratulations, you are now a master of cooking. Why not visit the head chef at the Geek Cooking Guild? He has something special that is only available to true masters of the cooking skill. I shall go there indeed. And now I have gained 399s for this episode. And I shall start editing and go towards the next goals now. And the next goals are gonna be, I wanna do the Christmas event, which is gonna be a really quick thing to do. And after that, I am wanting to do some mining for some buckets of sand at the desert to get my crafting up with molten glass. And also I wanna do some winter thought in hopes of getting dragon axe or the pet. And also I am going to do some guardians of the reef because I want the rune pouches and the rewards from there. So that is at least something, some things to look forward to in the next episode. Okay, and here we are at the Cook's Guild. Let's talk to Head Chef. Can I buy a skill wave of cooking from you? Most certainly, by wearing this cape you'll never burn any food. I will have to ask 99,000 gold for it, for such a privilege. Sure. And another one, please. Looking good, let's do the emote. And that's that's the episode goals done. 399s in one episode. 300 plus hours of gameplay has led to this moment. Getting the third 99. Now, let me cook some fish while I'm editing the video.